Hi everyone, welcome to the QUOps channel. I'm Rafael Lima, and today we're going to reorganize our code. Our, some, uh, some of the parts of our code are very bulky with a lot of stuff. So let's use one of the functionalities of using imports in our, in, in our framework, right? So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. And I'm going to post the links for the previous one so you can keep it up. So what we have so far here is we have the install here and uh, sorry, we have everything here uh, that we need, but this is very bulky, right? So we have 32 to almost a hundred lines with a lot of uh, uh, code for, for our CLI. It is too much, I believe, for this file. I would like to, for, for this to have the main interaction with the users having like the minor decisions based on, on what the user passed, but the rest of it, the rest of this, we should put in a, in a support file. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a file here. You see that there, is, uh, there, are, there are files with underscores. And these are more like support files. These are the files that are the menu, part of our subcommand, the menu. And these are just support, supporting those files. Cool. So what we're going to do, I'm going to cut all of this. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to give it a, a name of underscore support. Oh, sorry, underscore repos. You can see that, that that's the pattern that uh, the, the framework is using. Uh, putting underscore. I'm going to call it repos because this is for repos specifically. Cool. And now I need to import this. So the CLI has a, a command called use and I pass the name of what I want to import. So this is going to import repos. And it's already going to put the underscore for me, right? So it already knows what, what it needs to look for. Cool. Let's see if that works. So we, if we do BB repos, we, we are able to list cucumber. We are able to list cucumber, uh, download cucumber. It's going to download, but it's already there. Uh, download everything. Yes, it's working. What else we have? We have BB repos install v2. Uh, install v2. It's installing. Great. No need to wait for everything. And then we have the regular install with libs. And also installing. We don't need to wait here either. Cool. So that that worked pretty well. We, it's much cleaner. We only have the switch here, um, and everything is being imported through this. One of the things that we also can do is there is a pattern that I have been not following. I forgot actually about this pattern, and, and I should have used, which is a pattern to create a function with two underscores, right? So shell does not have a a uh, does not have the functionality or the concept of public and private functions. But there is a convention, the same for Python and, and, and PHP. You like, we, you can see that when um, a function is, uh, is supposed to be only used inside that file, in shell we put two underscores. So this one is only being used here. This one is the one being used by the external files, but in this one is only be using this file. So in that case, it would be like a private function, and then you put two on the score. So whoever is really know that 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 function is not uh, being used in the outside world of that file. So let's see if we can we have any any functions like that here in our repo. Uh, no external external external, 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 and external, but we can create one, right? So let, let's see if we have other ones that has the same thing. 
Uh, no, these are in. I don't want to remove this and create a, a, a support file because this is going to go too big. I don't want to do that right now. And also, this is too few still, so I'm fine with it. The date too short. The docs is pretty much docs. Um, this one we just did it. This one getting bulky, but well, I'm still fine with it. Template barely anything, and here also nothing. Right, cool. What we can do here, we can uh see there is a duplication here this is literally the same code right so we can create a function that's going to remove that duplication right so i'm going to say function double underscores and i'm going to say which dependencies to install i need to receive I need to receive the target computer and I need to receive the target computer and the the choice because I'm removing this part here, right? So I'm going to get choice, a local choice is going to be on the first variable and local target computer and this is going to be on the second variable all right so now i can just get this work on the identification here i'm going to say which and i'm going to pass choice and also I'm going to pass a target computer. I I'm also can do that here. Cool. One thing that I, I still want to do here is to put logs because uh, the target computer, it's, we are logging here. We are logging the computer, the, the user. However, we are now passing that information here. So if there is an issue with an error, I'm not sure exactly where that happened because I don't have logs here. So I want to put logs here because the information has been sent there. So did I send it wrong? I don't know. I know until here, but once we got here, I don't know. So I'm going to say log. The choice received, and I'm going to change the the text a little bit so here was the uh, dependencies so this in here is the one where we got the choice so choice given so i'm just going to say choice received and i'm going to say choice and i'm also logging target computer uh the computer to install is target computer cool and that's it so let's try it out so let's see bb repos we change the install so install libs installing the libs so let's get an um another one here uh bb repos install software so it's now installing this software libraries work softwares work all right so now i'm going to change and simulate that uh oh we have the v2 so this is v1 and this is v2 and this is v2 so the same thing libraries and uh softwares and now i'm going to simulate on v2 that um I'm, I'm rafa so yeah so now this this should be my personal libs and also here it should be my personal so personal and personal so it, it's working we we refactored we we reimported from a different file we remove another duplication so yeah and i mean i don't want to be too too strict 
about uh, having like a, a, having the perfect code in a CLI. Uh, but I'm using the CLI to, to show you a little bit about design, a little bit about code patterns, uh, shell functionality. So that, there are a lot of stuff going on here in, in this uh, CLI project that we are doing. Uh, and I, I mean, it's st you're still going to need to maintain it. So it's good to have some, some readability and some uh, 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 pattern being used. Also, like uh, when another per a new person is, is, is interacting with the CI CLI that she or, or that the person never did, it's, it's easy for, I mean, if it's well built, it's easy for the person to read and understand what, it, what, what, the per, what, what that's doing. I mean, the person is going to need to understand a little bit about the framework, like what is a load conf and they use it self-explanatory. Um, but uh, the way that we are building it, meaningful names, meaningful variables, meaningful function names, so this is very important. You, I mean, you don't need to have, this is not going to production. This is a constraint to the team. So like you have an issue, nobody's going to get blocked. Maybe the person is going to have to do some extra work to do some of the automation that the CLI is doing, but it's not the end of the world. However, it's something that it's code, right? So we need to maintain And, and if you have a minimum uh, standards there, it's going to make your life easier to either change or to modify or, or, or to keep using. Right. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Hit the bell to receive notifications of my next videos. Um, and if you like it, give the thumbs up. Uh, it's, re it's really important that you do because that's how the channel can keep growing. And I'm going to see you on my next video.